Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here today to unbox the Benchmade Full Immunity line of knives from Benchmade Knife Company, made in the USA. We've been waiting a little while for this, so let's go ahead, let's get into what we have. So we have the 290 BK Full Immunity. This is gonna be the Crater Blue one. I love it, I can't wait. We have this one, which is the 290 BK-2 which should be our uh, brown, sorry, flat dark earth. And then we have the 290BK-1, which should be our woodland green. I might have these mixed up, so we'll look when we unbox them. But I'm gonna save the blue for last because that's the one I'm most excited about. But let's go ahead and get into it. We'll move this little patch over. Shout out to Benchmade for putting out some new patches. So let's go ahead, we will unbox the 290BK-1 full immunity from Benchmade. Now these are all in the black class of knives. We've been waiting for these, so it is pretty awesome that they're out now. Okay, so we have that little lanyard bead already that we're seeing in that beautiful anodized, and the 290BK-1 is gonna be the flat dark earth. So pretty awesome. You get your little information about the access lock, your microfiber bag, use and care manual in there about your Life Sharp warranty as well. Don't forget about that. Okay, now I'm digging this because we got matching barrel spacers, thumb studs, and lanyard bead on this. Look at that awesome, awesome Warncliffe blade. Now you can't beat that. All of these knives come the full immunity size. Now the blade on this one, these are all CPM M4. A beautiful Tonto blade. Sorry, I always say like reverse Tonto, but it's a Warncliffe, Warncliffe. However, 2.49 inches on the blade length. So most of these I have a large scale or large scale, large size hand. I'm getting a three finger grip that's solid. That lanyard bead comes in helpful to get a full grip, but you got a little bit of jimping on this one. Nothing on this. You have full stainless steel liners and you have that uh, aluminum, anodized aluminum scale, which is just gorgeous. Uh, I think they're using, they put 6061 T6 aluminum on these scales for all of them. The CPM M4, the Benchmade information there on the blade. You got the mini deep carry pocket clip. Of course, access lock. Oof, we're gonna need some, we're gonna need some juice in there. But yes, we're gonna have to break these in over the next couple days and check them out. But they have a, a really cool finish to the blade. It's anti-reflective, which is nice. Makes it really, really good for, you know, blending in, not getting that shine or sheen off of it. Uh, reduces fingerprints like crazy, which is awesome. And they call it a cobalt black coating. So we can see a little bit on there. Got that Benchmade logo. That little bit of jimping on top of the blade. And even if you're going to hold it and, you know, you want to finger down on this one, you know, you can get all the way to the tip if you're doing some, you know, push cuts or something. But really neat. I think we should get into the next one and check out and see what that one brings to us. So let's put this one up here. We'll go with the 290BK-2. And huge shout out to Benchmade for um, sending a couple of these out so we can take a peek and uh, put them into the pass around as well, which is really cool. So, oh, that green just pops. Now, same thing here. You get all the same, you know, inserts and microfiber bag and all that. And the, the oh, this one's more of a black bead on this one. So that's kind of cool, matches all the hardware, but look at that green, just pops. Now, of course, with anodizing, you're gonna get a little bit of different colors. So if you get the ability to go in and check one of these out in person, maybe take a, take a look at a couple of them. They all should match really well. However, you know how that goes, anodizing. But if you're into the green, this is called a woodland green, and you can see the coating on the blade all that fun stuff. It's a little bit different on this one. So this is a little darker coating in comparison, just ever so slightly, the cobalt black on that one. So pretty cool. It makes the logo pop even more. Um, it matches really, really well with the scales. There's a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of uh, dimpling, I guess you could say that they put on that pivot, which is cool. And then the standard pivot screw on this side. Now these will be pretty fun. These will be pretty fun to use. Now this one, the, the jimping's a little more aggressive on this one. And like I said, this one's the 290BK-2, the Woodland Green. So not sure if that's intentional. 
Let me feel this one. This one's not as grippy, so I'll check out on the other one too, and just to see, but you can see it's a little more pronounced up here as well, the jimping on that one. That's pretty cool on this green one. So you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments, are you gonna pick up one of these? And if so, which one's your favorite? And if you are just considering it, which one's your favorite? Now for me, I've been waiting for this one. It's the 290BK, full immunity. And I do get a little bit of a surprise with this one because I was able to get a first production one on this one. Um, picked it up, the factory store. They had a few, so shout out to the Benchmade factory. Look at that blue, I'm excited. It's kind of a blue gray look. And then that solid blue that we're used to from Benchmade, little anodized bead on there, which is really cool. You get the blue thumb studs and of course the blue barrel spacers. I'm digging that. So what do you think? Do you think the blue and then the jimping is very pronounced on this one as well? So we'll have to check that one out. Maybe that was a early production one since Benchmade sent that out. We'll check it out, but that blue is gorgeous. And you can see the, the details on the pivot collar, but let's go over the full details of this knife, the Benchmade Full Immunity. We have the CPM M4 blade. You have a 62 to 64 HRC. Um, the blade overall has that cobalt black coating on them, which is beautiful, by the way. Uh, the blade thickness on this, 0 0.09 of an inch. So super thin, super slicey, that Warncliffe, aka Reverse Tonto. We're going to do a comparison here in a minute to a couple of our favorite knives as well. We'll take a look at them. Uh, the overall open length on this, 5.94 inches and closed 3.46. This one's a little bit better, but we're going to have to, you know, you know, slick them up a little bit, get them nice and smooth operating. But look at that. Just gorgeous. I'm excited. Fifth pocket carry, throw it in your EDC pouch or EDC bag. This is a great, great knife for hiking, camping outdoors, or to just be stealth and, you know, have on your person somewhere. But overall, I'm digging that. That's pretty cool. There's the triple lineup of the full immunities that are launching today. Full retail, 300 you can get them from your favorite knife dealer for just a little bit less, which is great. So check those out there. Now, the weight on these, 2.29 ounces. So very lightweight, but you got the full stainless steel liner made in the USA by Benchmade here in Oregon, which is awesome. Now, let's do a size comparison. We'll put a couple of these away because, you know, how it goes. Some of those just, you know, the brown one. We love you, Flat Dark Earth. We love you Woodland Green, but here on this channel, of course, the blue is the champion. So let's do a little size comparisons to a couple of our favorite knives. Uh, we got a Benchmade Mini Grip Tillion here. We're going to size comparison with that. So pivot to pivot, you can see you get a little bit more out of the handle, even on the Mini, which is great. A little bit more on the blade as well. But overall, pretty well size comparison wise. You have a pretty good look at these. You can see it's a little bit smaller, but overall, just about as thick. You can see the blade stock's a little thinner, which is really cool. Um, so it's a fun one, but let's take a peek. I think we wanted to look at, um, did we have it out here? We might not have this exact one out. So let me grab it. I think it's over here in the case. We want to make sure the Benchmade Mini Bug Out gets some action on this because you know, we don't want to leave the mini bug out out of the challenge here. So pivot to pivot. I think we're pretty well lined up a little bit longer in the blade and a, you know, that extra finger on the handle, um, in comparison, you know, pretty much a four finger grip here, three and three quarter. And then of course, you know, a, a three finger grip on the full immunity. Now, just in case you're wondering and you're like, gosh, how does it compare to like, the standard bug out, right? Well, let's get a standard bug out out. Let's take a peek at this one, of course. The beautiful S90V carbon fiber. You can see how much smaller the full immunity is, which is awesome. Now they're also gonna come out with um, an auto immunity, which will be launching here in a couple months. And you also get a half size blade, or not half size, but a uh, two third size blade of this, which is gonna be legal in California. So it'll be an under two inch auto. Those are gonna launch as well in all three colors. That'll be pretty groovy. So again, huge shout out to Benchmade. 
Thank you all for checking this out. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below which one of these colors are your favorite. Again, you have Crater Blue, which is awesome, my favorite here. Um, Flat Dark Earth or the Woodland Green. So overall, it's a pretty fun launch. I'm excited they're, they're finally launching. I know they had a little bit of delays on them, but overall pretty cool. This one's very stiff. Definitely gonna have to get some lube on that one. ASAP. Don't forget, hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. Have an awesome rest of your day, but most importantly, take care.